So you deliberately make more concentrated focus in the direction of what you want. And you find the relief of it, which feels nice to you and the exhilaration of it, which feels nice to you. So you start practicing the vibration of what's in the vortex, even though it hasn't manifested. You can't observe it. You can't see it, but you sense it and you want to feel good. So you make an effort to be happy anyway, and you manage to find vibrational alignment with it. And then an interesting thing, it becomes less important that it manifests because you're feeling greater ease. And the more ease you feel, the less important it is that it manifests and then it manifests. And you say, well, that's screwy. The less I need it to manifest, the more easily it can manifest. And we say, but think about why. The tension of it not manifesting is keeping it from manifesting. Mm -hmm. The relaxation and the expectation that it will allows it to, you see. Isn't that interesting? So, so we want to give you a full picture. You know what you don't want. You know what you do want. But first, you're not a vibrational match to that. So you think about it. You talk about why you want it. You try to find the feeling place of it. You manage to find the feeling place of it. You manage to find the feeling place of the presence of it more than the feeling place of the absence of it. And then just like the fulcrum, just like the teeter-totter on the fulcrum, it tips. And as it tips, now you feel even more exhilaration and then it manifests. And now there you stand in a new vibrational place because now you have a new vantage point. Now you're observing what you wanted more because now it's there. But you also have now another set of contrasting experiences. Mm -hmm. They moved, they're vibrationally different, but they will always be another set of contrasting experiences to inspire more from you. Mm -hmm. So you settle in there, but you're not content with what exactly is for very long. And out of that now comes I know what I don't want. I know what I do want. So now you're not familiar with that because it's sort of a new vibrational feeling. Mm -hmm. So you do the work. You think about it. You think about why you want it. You try to find the vibrational feeling place of it. You imagine it. You go general. You do anything that you can to make friends with, to become vibrationally one with this new idea that hasn't manifested. So it's still strange. It's just a new idea until you become a vibrational match with it. And now it clicks into place and that teeter totter tips again and manifestation. It flows right into your experience. And now you have that manifestation and you also now have a new set of contrasting experiences mm -hmm. with which to enjoy and explore life experience. So again, you know what you don't want, you know what you do want, but you're not really used to thinking about what you do want in that way is a sort of new vibration, but you want to feel good. You've got the bug of happy now. You know that you want to feel good. You know that you'd rather be optimistic. Now the manifestation is not as important to you as the way you feel. And you've already demonstrated to yourself a couple of times that you can feel good in the, even in the absence of what you want, just with the idea of what you want. So you find vibrational alignment with it because now you want to be happy just because you want to be happy. So now it was easier this time because there was less to overcome. And so now now it manifests and now you observe it and you feel better and a new set of contrasting experiences come. You know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And so you know what you do want and there it is. And it's a little weird, but not that weird. It's not as weird as it was weird before because now you're starting to trust in your ability to manifest things. Mm -hmm. Now you believe in the process. Now you trust the laws. Now you've convinced yourself life is supposed to be good for you. And you think, why not? That came, that came, that came, that came, that came. Why not this? You begin to understand that it's not big things and little things. It's just aligned things and not aligned things. Mm -hmm. It's just my focusing upon what what I want or am I not focusing on what I want? No difference between a castle and a button. If you want it, they are equally easy to accomplish. They are equally easy to accomplish, you see. It's just that more of you are more likely to focus on the castle than the button and more of you are more likely to focus on the difficulty of accomplishing the castle than the button. <sighs> that was very clear, wasn't it?